We have just received an S level wanted notice from the IPC. Akron, female, age, current residence, and home world unknown. Hmm, a kindly member of the Riddlers, perhaps? Akron is the prime suspect in the assassination of several criminals wanted by the IPC, including one high profile case involving a certain Everflame mansion. Wait, she eliminated wanted criminals and became a wanted criminal? The IPC is seeking help from the public. If you see this person or have any clues about her whereabouts, please notify us using the comment section at the bottom of this page. The IPC will contact you shortly and reward you with how many credits? <coughs> to help us explore the rumors surrounding the enigmatic Acheron, we have invited an eminent soothsayer as today's expert guest. Without further ado, let's welcome Black Swan. Akron keeps a low profile and operates in the shadows. The IPC doesn't have any clear leads. What approach would you recommend? Stories can deceive, but memories never lie. <laughs> a very Black Swan recommendation. <laughs> now then, let's take a look at the precious memory bubble Black Swan brought us today. I see Akron is a lightning type character on the path to Nihility. Here we see her reaching into her sleeve and pulling out a... She's pulling out a... Peach? <laughs> well, anyway, let's get down to business. When Akron uses her basic attack, she deals lightning damage based on her attack to a target enemy. It wasn't easy getting this memory bubble here. Not going to take a closer look? Oh, uh... <laughs> Compared to other characters, Akron has a very unique charging mechanism known as Slash Dream. When using her skill, Akron accumulates a certain quantity of Slash Dream. She then inflicts set stacks of Crimson Knot on a single target and deals lightning damage to adjacent targets based on her attack. After accumulating enough Slash Dream, Akron can use her ultimate. She frees her right arm and draws her sword, casting everything into a sea of darkness and engulfing her enemies in a black hole of terror. Only the color of blood remains. <laughs> I'm having nightmares tonight. I have read countless memories, but only in her memories has all color faded away. She's either hiding something, or black and white are her favorite colors. <laughs> Incredible! When using her ultimate, Akron can choose a target for each of her three attacks. Each attack deals a certain amount of lightning damage and removes a set number of Crimson Knot stacks. Whenever Crimson Knot is removed, lightning damage is dealt to the target, with greater damage being for each stack removed. Finally, when sheathing her blade, Acheron deals lightning damage to all enemies based on her attack while removing all stacks of Crimson Knot from the battlefield. Even karma can be cut by that blade. Akron is truly one of a kind. Uh, what's her secret? Let's keep watching. Thanks to her one of a kind talent, when using her ultimate, Akron can reduce enemy toughness while ignoring weakness types and decrease all type res for all enemies. Plus, when any unit on the field, even enemy units, causes an enemy to become debuffed, Akron gains one slash dream and one stack of Crimson Knot. All tools are available to use, including the enemies. <laughs> you said it. Keep what's mine and borrow what's yours. But that's not all her talent does. When an enemy target with Crimson Knot is defeated, that Crimson Knot will be transferred to the enemy unit with the most Crimson Knot stacks on the field. If Akron wants to maximize her battle prowess and ability to inflict damage, she's going to need allies on the field who can inflict debuffs. Know oneself, know your allies, and know your enemy. The rain falls on us all. When Akron uses her technique to enter battle at the start of every wave, I repeat, every wave, she gains a certain amount of slash stream after her next ultimate, stacks a certain number of Crimson Knot on a random enemy, inflicts lightning damage on all enemies based on her attack, and reduces toughness of all enemies regardless of weakness type. And that's not all. If Akron encounters a normal enemy, her technique will vanquish it without even entering battle. And if the hit doesn't land, it won't consume any technique points. I'm getting the impression that Akron has her own way of doing things. Just what kind of person is she exactly? I can show you memories, but interpreting them is up to you. Why are there so many riddles on today's show? It seems like no matter where Akron travels throughout the universe, danger is waiting for her. 
After unlocking a specific trace, Akron enters battle with a set amount of Slash Dream and inflicts a certain number of Crimson Knot stacks on a random enemy. When using your skill, they gain a set number of Crimson Knot stacks. When allies use a basic attack against the same enemy, they become inflicted with Burn. Akron gains one point of Slash Dream and the enemy is inflicted with another stack of Crimson Knot. Realizing the combos they can create with Akron's abilities, allies inflict a debuff on the enemy, triggering another wave of Slash Dream and Crimson Knot. The enemy tries to get smart with a counterattack, but ends up triggering a debuff from Akron's ally, landing themselves with a stack of Crimson Knot and granting Akron another point of Slash Dream. Woo! It's ultimate o'clock, and Akron doesn't hold back. Amid the reign of darkness, her blade cuts blood red slashes between heaven and earth. <laughs> Just like that, the enemy is vanquished from this plane of existence. We're gonna need a bigger ambulance. Mm. Because they're dead. As though they never even existed. We learned all kinds of things about Akron. And, uh, well, I've got you. Looking at the year ahead, any chance I can get rich and retire early? That's easy. Wait one moment. <laughs> about your hopes for the future, I recommend taking a nap. It might happen in your dreams. Oh, nap. I can hardly take a 